I recently published a video showing several cyber attack vectors against the back of CX9001 industrial control system. I wanted to show you that an attacker can disrupt the process control with simple technical means. Today I will give you a breakdown and explain the steps of the attacker. Hi, my name is Marcia Rickzen and I am an OT security consultant with a master's degree in automation engineering. In my ICS home lab, I try cyber attack scenarios and open source tools against real industrial hardware. Do you want to support me? Subscribe to the channel, share this video and support me on Patreon with a coffee. We assume that the attacker is connected to the target network. First, he checks his IP address and passes the network data to NetDiscover, which is used for host discovery on the network. NetDiscover found three active hosts, and due to the MAC address vendor detection, the host behind the IP address 10.0.0.10 is particularly interesting, and the attacker examines this IP address with Nmap. Nmap is started, and the following parameters are passed to the tool, skipping the host discovery, specifying the port range to scan, and the target IP address. Nmap now tries to find open TCP ports automatically. While this scan is running, the attacker starts a second Nmap scan and activates the UDP scan. The UDP scan completes and UDP port 161 was detected as open, on which the simple network management protocol is active. The attacker then starts an SNMP enumeration with SNMP check. Many devices with active SNMP service will reveal any information about themselves, as you can see here. The Nmap TCP scan finished and detected several ports with web services. The attacker examines the web services for hidden directories using a technique called directory traversal. To do this, the attacker starts a tool called derp and passes the service, target IP address, target port, as well as a list. This list contains all the directories to be checked. While the directory traversal is running, let me tell you about practical industrial control system penetration testing. I have created this course to teach you pen testing on simulated industrial controllers. This means you can get started right away and don't have to buy expensive hardware or attend expensive seminars. After you have learned the basics and set up your virtual lab, you will deepen your skills with the pen test tools step by step in five attack scenarios. And after that, the final challenge awaits you to prove your skills. Link to the course is in the video description. TCP port 48898 was detected as open and the AMS ADS protocol typically runs on this port with backoff ICS. The attacker then starts the UDP scan on port 48899 which also runs this protocol. The directory traversal is finished and an undocumented remote admin access was found. The attacker opens this directory and is immediately asked to enter a new password. With this step, the attacker created a new user with root rights on the system, which he can use then to log in via the open telnet service on port 23. Meanwhile, on the left, T-Shark was started to record the data packets. The attacker has a telnet shell with root rights and secures his persistence by creating a new account. Then the attacker starts a sophisticated Python exploit script. First, he must establish a valid connection to the device. To do this, he tries to add a route with the default credentials, which are administrator1. The default credentials were valid and the attacker has now established a valid connection to the target device. First, he gathers more information about the target system. Then the attacker activates the pwn mode and initiates the shutdown of the system. The process control is now at a standstill and can no longer react to critical states. Thank you so much for watching. Support me with a subscription and share this video. And if you like, consider supporting me on Patreon with a coffee.